Okay, Trace, uh, we are just here outside the home. Traveled this lawn here in a previous video, and we're just gonna take a little bit better tour of the gardens and the landscaped area. This here is really something else, a sunken contemplative garden with fire pit and you've got these terraced gardens around each side. You go up maybe above the height of my head there, probably from the foot of the pit up there, maybe 15 feet, 12 feet. Gardens all around with the terraces and then again the fire pit with pea gravel in the bottom coming back out towards the front pasture you've got sort of a driftwood sort of totem thing here we've seen the lawn over to our left here so i'll cut you through this way you've got a big strawberry raised garden bed here back that way you can see a little path there off further into the property. You've got some raspberries, all sorts of stuff that would contribute to your homeschooling. And then you step over here, there's a nice little pond, beautifully landscaped around, and it has sort of an outlet here. Make a little crick heading off back towards the contemplative garden. And I am gonna shortcut it. A bunch of land here that can just be used for all sorts of things. They've got sort of a burn pile off that way to the yurt. It's like a whole little shire in here. One thing that you'd want to be concerned with here though is is a bank going to lend on this property. They are on a concrete slab foundation, which is one component you have to have, but the rammed earth and so on and so forth, there definitely will be banks that will not touch this. And then there will be some that, that do. Some more raised beds. We've come through in there and all through the trees started down by the deck there and we will get another video here in just a moment 